Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Miss Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number six, and the name of our chapter is Light and Sound. Today I am going to review this chapter because we have covered all the SLOs. So one by one, we will revise all the SLOs and all the reading pages. Ko ek revise and by the end of this lecture, I will provide you with an assessment sheet. So my dear students, let's begin the lecture. So let's start it with the recap. So what are harmful effects of noise on health? Quickly pause the video and answer the question. Very good. Okay, what should we do to reduce noise pollution? Aap kis tarikhe se noise pollution ko reduce karte, kar sakte hai? Quickly tell me. Very good. Okay, my dear students. So let's start the review of the chapter. So this is the first uh, uh, reading page that we have read just we have source of light ke mein padha tha. so what are artificial and natural sources of light so jo natural sources hai, jo ke nature may exist karte hai, ke sun hai, moon hai, these are stars hai, these are the natural sources of light whereas the artificial sources of light are jo ke human made hote hai, ke bulb hai, candle hai, lantern hai, flashlight hai, these are all artificial sources of light so then we discussed about what are luminous and non-luminous objects? So, we have luminous objects ke mein padha tha, which have their own light, like sun, uh, bulb, torch, they have their own light. Whereas, non-luminous objects are those which reflect the light of luminous objects, like the example is moon. Yani ke moon jo hai, it is a non-luminous object because it is light nahi hoti, it reflects the light of the sun. So, that is why we say that it is non-luminous. Okay, my dear students, then we discussed that what is the difference between transparent, translucent and opaque objects. So, we have different types of objects which have been categorized in which the light can pass, in which the light can pass a little bit and in which the light can pass a little bit. So, you can see such objects which you can see from them. You can see a little bit of a blur and you can see a little bit of a blur. So, we call this category as transparent, translucent, translucent and opaque. So my dear students, then we discussed that how does light travel? Light travels in a straight line. हमने इसको demonstrate किया through an experiment कि light जो है ये हमेशा किसी source से जब generate होती generate होती है तो ये straight line में travel करती है. Then we discussed about how our shadows formed. Shadows तब form होते हैं जब कोई opaque object source of light को के आगे आकर उसको block कर लेता है. तो shadow जो है वो form होता है. It is basically a dark area behind the object. Then we discussed that what are the factors that affect the size of the shadow. Shadow ka size jo hai wo kis tarikhe se affect hota hai? It depends on two things. One is the um, uh, uh, source of light, its distance. And the second is the position of the source of light. Yeni ke source of light ka distance kya hai? Aur uski position kya hai? Whether it is upward, downward, left hai, right hai. So this is the position of the object. Whether kareeb hai ya dur hai, this is the uh, position of, uh, distance of the source of light. So, this basis pe shape and size of the shadow uh, jo hai wo depend karta hai. Okay, then we discussed about uh, how light reflects from shiny and dull surfaces. So, we have studied two types of reflection. Padhi thi ki jo smooth surfaces hai, wo light ko, uh, same angle se reflect karti hai in opposite direction. Whereas, jo dull surfaces hoti hai, unme diffused reflection, yani ke scattered reflection hoti hai. So, scattered ya diffused reflection ki wajay se hi aap apne irdgir cheezo ko dekh sakte hai. Then we discuss about how does sound produce. Sound pre is produced in the form, uh, due to vibrations and how does it propagates. It propagates in the form of waves ki form mein ye travel karta hai. Then we discussed that sound jo hai mukhtalif mediums mein kis tarah travel karta hai. Sound jo hai wo solid medium mein faster travel karta hai. Liquid medium mein slow travel karta hai. Or air medium mein slowest travel karta hai. So this is we discussed ke kis tarah different mediums mein sound jo hai wo travel karta hai. Then we discussed what are the factors that affect the intensity of sound. Intensity of sound jo hai whether it is high or low. Ye kin cheezo pe depend karti hai. It depends upon the amplitude and the source distance of the source of the uh, sound. So is cheez ke upar jo hai sound high hoti hai ya low hoti hai. Then we discussed that what are harmful effects of noise. Sound ke harmful effects kaun kaun se hai. Jaysay ke heart diseases, hearing disturbance, anxiety, lack of sleeping. Um, Iske lava stress. So these are different causes of um, harmful effects of noise. 
देन वट शुड बी डू टू रिड्यूस नॉइज पोल्यूशन नॉइज पोल्यूशन को हम किस तरीके से कम कर सकते हैं हम इसको इस तरीके से कम करते हैं वी शुड प्लांट मोर एंड मोर ट्रीज वहीकल्स को मेनटेन करें लाउड म्यूजिक नहीं सुने साउंड अप्लाइंसेज जो साउंड प्रोड्यूस करते हैं उनको स्विच ऑफ कर दें वेन यू आर नॉट यूजिंग दैम इस तरीके से हम साउंड पोल्यूशन को नॉइज पोल्यूशन को कम कर सकते हैं एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल so my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students write down your name and the roll number and then indicate whether the following sentences true or false so aapko true or false iska batana hai moon is luminous source of light we should use louder volume because it is favorable for our health opaque objects block the path of light light always travel in straight line shadow is the present uh, shadow is the presence of light behind the object larger will be the distance of the object from the light source the larger will be the shadow sound can travel in vacuum greater the amplitude slower lower use of energy will produce high sound so my dear students you have to tell whether the sentences are true or false write any, any two luminous and non luminous objects then compare the behavior of light with transparent translucent and opaque objects teeno jo objects hain jo categories hain inko aapne compare karna hai then explain how intensity of sound be affected by amplitude and distance between the source and listener kis tarike se jo intensity of sound hai wo distance se aur amplitude se affect hoti hai you have to discuss that so pause the video and quickly finish the worksheet I hope everybody has done it. Now let's quickly move forward towards the homework. For homework, you will identify the causes of noise pollution around you in school and home, and do some remedies to reduce them. So, my dear students, आपको अपने इस गेट daily जब आप school travel करते हैं, घर में होते हैं, तो आपको ये चीजें identify करनी है कि noise pollution कौन-कौन सी चीजें cause करी हैं और कैसे जो है आप इसको रोक सकते हैं या कम कर सकते हैं सो दिस विल बी योर होमवर्क एंड द रैप अप ऑफ द यूनिट इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न दैट सन एंड मून आर नेचुरल सोर्सेज ऑफ लाइट इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब्स, लैंप एंड कैंडल्स आर आर्टिफिशियल सोर्सेज ऑफ लाइट ऑब्जेक्ट्स गिव ऑफ लाइट आर ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स वाइल ऑब्जेक्ट दैट डू नॉट गिव ऑफ लाइट आर नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट अलाउ लाइट टू पास ट्रांसलूसेंट अलाउ सम लाइट एंड ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट do not allow light to pass through them light travels in a straight line opaque objects block the path of the light which forms shadow behind them and the signs of the shadow affected by the distance of the object from the light source and position of the light source light that fall on the shiny surfaces surface is fully reflect back with the same angle which is regular reflection while light fall on dull surfaces some rays of the light reflect but some spread in all direction this is diffuse reflection sound is produced by vibrating bodies travel in the form of sound waves and comes to our ears sound needs medium solid liquid and gas to travel and we discussed that intensity of sound is affected by the amplitude and distance between the listener and the source of the sound noise is unpleasant sound and which causes harmful effects on our health we can reduce noise pollution by reducing volume turn off sound appliances while they are not used uh, being used and by maintaining motor vehicles daily so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot of things from this chapter light and sound keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz